Hi friends, the day has come for us to begin putting up the spooky decor. This is normally a video that I, or like the type of video that I would post on my vlog channel, but since a bunch of you requested it, I decided to throw it up on my main channel. So grab yourself a cozy beverage, perhaps a snack, and let's just relax and hang out and celebrate the beginning of spooky season and autumn. Okay, so here it is. I just pulled everything out. There isn't a ton of stuff, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it cute and add just that spooky little spice to the place. I actually had filmed a whole like spooky decor shopping portion to this video. So I started filming this video a few days ago now, but I just, I don't know what it is about this year. And I don't know if it's just where I am, but I could not really find much. The selection was not great this year. Oh yeah, and I've already put my fall leaf uh, like TV art background thing on, but I'm gonna move this because it's gonna glitch if the TV is in the screen. Okay, so yeah, I went out, I tried. Uh, it was a bit of a vlog fail. That's why I'm just restarting and we're just gonna dive into the decorating here. I will show you, I did pick up a couple things, so I'll show you what I got lighting is really a struggle today okay so this is the first new thing so most of this obviously is from last year this is the first new thing that i did get though i thought that this was really cute i like that it's just like wooden it does have some black on the top but for the most part it just looks like a little wooden cutout sign and i think that this is really cute this was 20 bucks from home sense so i think that's the only thing i got at home sense or no i did get one more thing i got this little guy this little just simple happy Halloween. It's just like kind of like a tin thing. So I figured I would sneak that on top of one of my shelves among my plants or maybe on my counter. I don't know. We'll see. And then the only other things that I got when I was out were just these LED string lights that are like the little jack-o-lanterns. It's upside down. Yeah, they're just little jack-o'-lantern lights. These were only a few bucks each from Walmart, so I want to put one of these on, or maybe both of them. I don't know, I'm debating what I'm going to do with these. I think that they're going to be, like, really short, but I kind of want to put one of them on my plant shelf in my bedroom, or both of them. We'll see. And then all the other stuff is just from last year. Of course, I have my pillows from Garnish Garden, which are one of my favorite things. These stay on my bed all year round, but then once... Oh, September and October comes around. I move them out to my couch so they can be more displayed. And then my spiderweb tablecloth. What else do we have? My ghosts, which I've had for years now. So cute, my little ghosty garland. This is probably like my favorite thing that I have. I'm a budget kind of gal when it comes to things like these. So I just kind of like add a couple things into my collection every year. And that's probably just what I'll keep doing until I have, you know, a pretty good amount of things. Oh yeah, last year I used a lot of this spider web stuff and honestly it was the worst. It was so annoying to remove and it stuck on my plants. Like some of my plants got covered in this and it stuck onto my plants for months. Uh, and people would always comment that I had spider mites. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this again this year. Mm, I might, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> And then I just have little knick-knacky things, my skeleton hands. These are really cool, actually. I like these. Um, my fall candle, which I'm trying to stay away from, like, chemical candles like this. But I do have a few kicking around, and the urge just gets real strong around this time of year. So I don't burn them often, but I probably will burn this one a little bit. We have my eyeball planter from last year do y'all remember uh, i'm probably just going to use this as a cover pot for somebody nobody was in it right now so i had to bust it out and then of course the most annoying thing to put up i have a whole bag of these bats last year i put them on my kitchen cupboards which was really cute i think i had some on my wall as well my living room wall uh I guess I, it's gonna be a little bit more fun to decorate this year because I have more stuff going on like on my walls. I guess last year I didn't have my plant 
my plant wall, my Wally Girl wall, or my TV or like anything on my walls because I've just moved in. So this year I think is going to feel a little bit more homey and be a little bit more fun to decorate. I thought I had more stuff too, but I guess I don't. Anyways, I think that's a good start. Oh yeah, I have this weird like spooky fabric too, but it's just like a weird kind of shape. And I don't think I ended up being able to use it last year. I just had nowhere to put it. Oh yeah, and it sheds. Oh my goodness, I remember these fibers were everywhere. I'm probably just gonna leave that in the bag, honestly. As you saw, I've also made myself my chai latte and oh my goodness, so good. I'm obsessed and honestly like the perfect thing for this time of year, divine. I also have my cobweb coasters. These are one of my favorite things. I really like them. I actually use them all year round. Well, I leave a couple of them out, but I'm gonna be busting all four of them out. Also, anything that I can link, I will link down below in the description box if you see anything that you like. Also, I forgot about my letter board. We have my coffin-shaped letter board, which I really like this as well. Last year, I had it on top of my Mills Bow Tall. You could just like hang it on the wall or you could display it on the little easel so that's cool okay i think that's everything and then there's just my other stuff that i keep out all year round like my like my tea towels and stuff okay i think i'm gonna start with the ghost garland i'm kind of in the dilemma of where to put it on the wall though because my couch is off center normally i put it above my couch but now that i have the plants above i feel like it might look weird if they're just like in line with the couch like should i put them under the plant thing but then it's gonna be more crowded uh, i don't know and i know it drives some people crazy how i didn't put the wally grows like in line with the couch but I just wanted the Wally Grows to be like in the center of the wall. And I did that for a couple reasons. The first one is what if I ever want to rearrange, like maybe the couch won't be there forever. And um, the second reason is that being centered, they're way more closer to the light source. Like if I had them right over the couch, they'd be over so much further and in the darkness. So yeah, that's why I chose to put it like that. And honestly, I love it. Okay, I'm really happy with this. I think that it came out really cute. I'll have to show you guys. At, at the end, I'll like walk around with the camera and show you guys everything. These ghosties ended up uneven. They're not centered under the planters, nor are they centered against the couch. I mean, they're mostly under the planters, but it's a little bit off. Actually, it's not bad looking from the middle. Like from this angle where you're looking, it looks quite off, but here it's not bad. Anyways, I don't care enough to redo it. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna add my couch cushions now. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my bat. Usually I just put it kind of like up higher so you can see it. It is blending in with the black blanket though. And then this ghosty, this one is my favorite gonna go over here with the gloriosum so cute okay i moved the bat down so maybe you can kind of notice it more there but this is literally looking so cute already oh my gosh i'm dying over it ollie do you like it baby do you like it 
Yeah, you're a spooky girl. Oh, you hungry girl, huh? You hungry? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're a hungry woman, huh? Good girl. Okay, I think I'm just gonna finish off this wall and go in with my bats, which are definitely the most annoying thing to put up, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna throw a few out. So last year I stuck the bats up just with the painter's tape because they come with a sticky like adhesive pad thing but there was some review saying that it was pulling off people's paint and stuff which is why I didn't want to use those although my paint literally just came off on my painter's tape which has never happened to me before but okay Okay, next I need to choose a spot for this and I think it just has to go on top of the cabinet. Like that spot is just perfect for it. And anything that sits on a surface, I have to really think about because I do not have many surfaces available, but I think this is gonna be perfect. Um, okay, this is so cute. I love it up there. And it's gonna look really good once my string lights are lit up too in the evening. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love how everything is coming together. Super happy with it so far. Okay, in my kitchen, like I said, I always use my like fall Halloween dish towels throughout the year, so those are already out. I think I'm gonna put my little happy Halloween thing right there. Kind of fits perfectly. This is kind of a cluttered area because I have like cords and it's not really too much I can do about that. Oh yeah, these candles, these are like LED candles that I bought last year for spooky season as well, but I keep them all year round. I don't usually turn them on in the summertime, so I haven't used them in a while, but they do look really cool. I actually really like these, so I've got those kind of like scattered throughout my house already. Last year I just had one of the skeleton hands just like hanging out on my microwave, so I might just do that again. I don't really know where else to put them. It was kind of cute. Sometimes I would put like my tea bag or something in there just setting it out for the next morning or the next time I was gonna make a cup of tea. And then I have these little glass bottles that I'm not sure, not sure where I'm gonna put these. I think I'm just going to put one of them right there because I kind of have some other drink things just hanging out back there anyways. So yeah, it's kind of cute. Don't mind my begonia gray feather. It's had a rough summer and I've just taken a few propagations from it. So it's in recovery mode, but um, yeah, that, that's this little corner for now, I guess. I might like switch some things up as we go. And also if you have any ideas for me, leave a comment down below because I can always like rearrange or, you know, I'm very open to your input or if there's anything you've seen like online or around that you think I would like that I can add into the spooky decor, let me know or link it if you can. I would love to check it out. I just realized I should have the fall candle going. I don't know why I don't. So I'm gonna light it right now. Can add to the ambiance. We're really getting wild tonight, you guys, because I'm gonna crack a Zevia too. Okay, we're gonna switch it up and move into the bedroom. I really want to check out these lights. And this is the shelf that I'm thinking of hanging them on. I think that would be really cute. How in the heck? Uh-oh. Oh no, don't 
won't break on me already. That's what you get for $2.97, I guess. Okay. We got it. We got it. Oh my gosh. These are adorable. This is like perfect for this shelf. So cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put the batteries in. Okay, are you ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's really bright right now, so it's probably hard to tell, but in person, they are just perfect. Exactly what I wanted. So I am going to try to put them up on here now. So I want the battery to be maybe on this side and it can kind of hang out in my utility cart here. Um, okay, these are literally adorable. Go to Walmart right now and get you some cute jack-o'-lantern string lights for your plant shelves. This is exactly what I was envisioning. This is going to look so cute in the evening. I will definitely be inserting clips at the end showing you guys what everything looks like in the evening. But yeah, this is so cute. There's one like tucked back here as well. Let's see if I can get him kind of... Well, I guess the cord is there too. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's the little things, you guys. Like, it's really the little things. Also, a moment for my Monstera subpanata. I'm obsessed with this plant right now. It's growing so well. I don't know what to do with it, though. Like, look at how wild. It's grown right off of the pole. I either need to cut it or extend the pole. I don't know. But, yeah, I love her so much. Such a vibe. I love just, like, how funky she's growing right now. Okay, so we do still have one more pack of these. So I'm thinking... I don't know, should I put like another layer on that shelf? I think that could be really cute. I have to push this back under. This normally is like pushed under there. Or should I put them somewhere else? Hmm, I kind of just want to put them on the second shelf. Okay, super cute, love it. I just put a little command hook there to kind of hold them up in the middle, like the one above. The Squammy is holding the one above, but yeah, super cute, love this so much. I kind of like the idea of doing a pumpkin theme in my bedroom and then a ghost and bat theme out here, which is kind of what I have going on. The only thing is I don't really have any other pumpkin stuff. The only other thing I have is this, which I think I'm going to put on a shelf by my bed, like one of these shelves. Oh yeah, I have a candle up here too. That's cute. I don't know if I should put it there or there. Maybe down there. But yeah, I need more pumpkin things. If y'all see anything, let me know. I also have another one of those candles up there. That's supposed to be a propagation holder, like the one below it, but I was using the glass for something else, I think, and then I just ended up setting the candle there, and I actually really like it, so I've just kind of left it there. But yeah, okay, let's carry on. Okay, I'm just gonna put my coasters around. I have this little guy, and I was thinking, like, which pot would he be most visible in? And I think it would be in the philodendron McDowell, so he's just gonna hang out in there. This plant looks so pretty at this time of day when the light hits it. I love it so much. Look at that. Oh, he is gorgeous. I'm gonna put the rest of my little coasters just around the house. And my counter has my toolbox on it. So that's gonna go there. Cutie. Now, the other skeleton hand, I have no idea where I should put it. I wish I had an air plant to put in this. That would be so cute. Okay, I ended up putting it on my little shelf for now. I really need to clean, like, dust and clean these shelves, by the way, but that will be happening on another day. And I moved the pumpkin up to that one, so they both have something festive on them now. Also, this little piece of art really goes with the vibe as well. 
Okay, so I was trying to decide what plant would look cute in this planter, and look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. It suits it so well. I think I'm actually going to pot this right into this pot soon because he really needs to be... Oh my goodness, I love this plant. Look how beautiful. But he really needs a repot, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and pot him right in the next time I have all my potting supplies out. I love this so much. I've turned on my, well, my lamp, but my string lights too, and really setting the vibe in here, really starting to feel festive and cute. I'm really putting off, um, like, procrastinating, putting all the bats up on the cupboards. I think I'm going to save that for last because, yeah, it's a bit of a chore. And we're definitely not going to deal with the spider web or that weird shedding cloth thing. So all we have left is one, which is brew, and my tablecloth. So let's do the tablecloth. Okay, perfect love it and I actually forgot how long this is and it's kind of nice because I store so much crap under here you guys like I just don't have storage in my house so everything like I have potting stuff like everything is kind of shoved back here so this kind of helps to hide it a little bit which is kind of nice so appreciate that it's really coming together. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just so stoked on this. Before I started, I was feeling a little discouraged or disappointed. Like I just felt like I didn't really have that much stuff to decorate with and I couldn't really find a ton of stuff this year. Plus I don't really have a huge budget either, but now that I've started putting everything together, I'm super happy with it. And sometimes less is more. Like a couple pops of decor in every room is honestly good enough for me. And yeah, I'm just super happy with how it's all looking. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this just on my little wicker basket, which I use as a coffee table slash potting table. <laughs> There's no room here for an actual coffee table, so this is what I use for now. Kind of ties things together a little bit more. Okay, the last witch's brew. Dun, dun, dun. Where to put it? I think I might put it way up there on top of the cupboard. She's wondering what the heck is going on. What's going on, honey pie? What's going on? Come on. I had some little skeletons, so I ended up just popping a few into this cabinet because like, look how cute. They're just hanging out on the grid. There's this guy over here, hello. And now, okay, all is in a playing mode. You want this baby? <laughs> okay, so now it has come time for the bat. So I'm gonna put these up on the cupboards. And I was thinking, well, I came across this sticky tack in my little toolbox thing. And I think that that might be better than having to like make all the little tape pieces. So I'm gonna try to put them up with that, see how it goes.
right, so the sticky tack was such a great idea. I wish I had thought of that last year. It was so much faster. So this is what I've done. It's different than last year. I kind of wanted it to look like they're kind of like going across, like coming back out, you know? I don't know, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty cute. So I'm pretty happy with it. There they come. And then I just stuck a few extras above my TV here. So I think we're pretty much done now with the decorating. That was so fun. I definitely feel like I'm in the fall spirit now. I'm gonna make a pizza for dinner just to keep the good vibes going. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this little decorating vlog. If you like my laid back kind of day in the life content like this, make sure you check out my vlog channel. It will be linked down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.